So I'll say briefly what has occurred, some of it. Some of it I do not want to go into. Um, but that's not how I live. I don't live out of that story. I live on just who I am that day. Um, I had, uh, I think, seven surgeries. Five of them were pretty major. <clears throat> Two were spinal fusions in my neck. I had a tumor removed from my intestines and part of my intestines. I could go on and on. I've had a stroke. So that, was, that was Tokyo Rosenthal. How do you spell it? Like the city Tokyo. T-O-K-Y-O. <laughs> I've got a severe learning disability. That's why I make the bands right in on the image. <laughs> I started about nine months ago. Um, I just drew a couple bands. I think it was a cat's cradle. All of a sudden I found I really enjoyed it. And over the last six months, I've probably drawn over 120 bands and done five music festivals. I call it a creative exchange. I'm 100% paying attention to their movement, their sound, every gesture, every, every aspect of them. So my attention is totally on them. I started it, I love it, in the sense that it is something unique. She really interacts with the music. I don't know how to describe this, but she's moving to the music the entire time she's drawing. So you can actually see her, you know, swaying to the beat of the music or facially responding to what you're singing and, you know, how your music is going. So she seems genuinely just really, the music seems to call to her and appeal to her. And I, I have this theory at least that that comes through in the movement that uh, you see in her sketches. She's prolific. She generates so much material. It's, I mean, um, and the last time I saw her, about two weeks ago, she had come. She came up to me with five renditions of me on one page. She's like, "You're only getting one piece of paper now until you buy me some more." <laughs> to play with. <laughs> you know, I've done all areas of the arts, uh, but I've kind of centered in on, at this point in my life, at 59, after losing my, almost my whole career in life, um, I started over after being extremely ill for many years and having a lot of surgery. Yeah, there was one point I couldn't hold a book or pencil. I stand now and draw for hours. I found that I uh, didn't want to be homebound and bedbound anymore or by myself all the time in the studio. And uh, when I was not feeling well, I st started drawing people who were around me. And then I started drawing motion. And now I draw events as they occur usually musicians performing. I could say my challenges have been gifts, really. I'm probably one of the most blessed people I know. I've always had, in the end, exactly what I need.